Hey guys, I just got out of the shower and my hair is currently air drying, obviously. So it's not like greasy or sweaty or whatever, it's just watery. One of my friends on Goodreads actually requested a video, which I haven't done in a while, and she requested for me to do a June wrap-up slash July TBR. The thing about TBRs, which if you don't know what TBR stands for, it's to be read, I don't always know what I'm going to read right after. Sometimes I'm feeling like a dystopian or a paranormal or another contemporary. So I'm not going to do the TBR for July. I already have like a TBR for summer, but I've bought so many more books that it's kind of all up in the air now, but I am going to be doing a wrap-up, which it's kind of a disappointing wrap-up because I haven't been reading too many. The first book that I read in July was The Rise of Nine, which is the third book in the Lorraine Legacy series, which that is not the last one. I thought it was going to be a trilogy, but maybe it's going to be a saga. I don't really know, but I enjoyed that book. I feel like the story is getting increasingly, increasingly better. The first one was an absolute dull, and the second one was a lot better, and then the third one was just consistently good and got better at the end, and now I cannot wait for the fourth one. I am just so excited. I wish I had waited to start the series because each time I start the other book I have to reread it but now I won't have to read the first and second one because I've already read the first one three times and the second one two times. Hopefully if I have to I'll just reread the third one. I wouldn't call it a reading slump but after I finished The Rise of Nine I just kind of didn't read anything for a little bit. I did start the book Seriously I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres. This book is hysterical. I absolutely love it. This is the kind of book where I want to slowly get through it. I don't want to completely devour it like my fictional books, so I am still currently reading this. Hopefully I'll finish it by the end of July. That's kind of, I guess, part of my TBR, and then I'll share with you what I'm currently reading at the end of the video. Then I decided to start an actual book, and I'm not saying that Ellen DeGeneres' book isn't an actual book. I meant one with more of a focused plot, so I decided to pick up The Selection by Kira Cass. Now, on my Goodreads, it doesn't say that I did read that, so it's not a part of my reading challenge because I did reread that so I could read The Elite. Honestly, I love both of them equally. I thought they were both so good. I have problems with the second one, like what was up with Aspen and like Maxon and the choices that America was making it was kind of all just like a oh my gosh but I think that's part of why I love it so much. What did I read after that? Last night I finished the book Beach Blondes by Catherine Applegate. Now I did do a review on this book I will link you to that video and I thought that it was going to take me maybe two like sit down reads but it's actually not as tiny as I thought it was like the words. This book took me a week so yeah. In total, I read one, two, three, four. I read four books this month, and I am seven or eight books behind in my 50 book reading challenge. Lastly, I'm currently reading Dare You To by Katie McGarry. This book is $17.99 hardcover and is about this thick. I loved the first one, which was Pushing the Limits. This is the second one, but it follows um, one of the characters in Pushing the Limits. Her name is Beth. I am only 30 pages into it, so I don't know that much about it. This is my favorite shirt to wear when I go to sleep. This is the most comfiest thing I have. Anyway, that is all I have to share with you guys in this video. Let me know if you want me to continue doing wrap-up videos because I know that I haven't done one in a really long time. I don't know why I stopped. Maybe just because I was really busy or something. Thank you so much for the request. I don't know if you want me to share your name on YouTube because you did message me on Goodreads. So thank you so much to the person who requested this. You know who you are. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.